Hey my friends, uh, in this video I'm just going to show you what do I use to build my airplanes. I use the foam that you can get at Lowe's. Whenever you go to the Lowe's to buy your foam, my friend, make sure to get the foam that doesn't have that many holes marked into it. So in that way the pieces that require to peel the plastic off, you know, you won't have that much of a trouble peeling the plastic on off of it on it. And the paint I use is a design master. You can get this one at Michael's. The glue I use it's a fabric glue, it's for clothes and stuff like that, but it works very good on my foam too. This is a, a nice glue, I'm going to show you how to use it on my next project too. The scent paper I use is a 150 scent paper. You can, I, I use this scent paper to shape all my pieces and after I get the shape out of the foam, the shape I want, I just go with a finishing, finishing scent paper and get everything out of it and ready for the painting. I use bass wood or base wood, however you call it, for my wings. I do not use carbon fiber. The only places where I use carbon fiber is on my full flying tails. And let me, oh, what I use as a push rod, I use these metal shapes right here. You can get these metal things at my I mean at Hobby Lobby. The number I use is a 5497-5497. It's a little packet right here. It comes four metals inside of this packet and it's only 89 cents right there. There you have it my friends. Uh, the next project is going to be the F-15. I'm going to build this guy because I do not have one. I have never built one. So I'm going to build one <laughs> to add it to my fleet. I'm also going to do you know, my best to get it as a scale as possible. And on the building of this guy right here, I'm going to show you how I use all my tools and you know my supplies and everything. I'm going to show you what, what you know, in what parts do I take the, the the plastic off the foam, and of what pieces I do not take the plastic off the foam. Let me show you what I was working on these last couple of days. I have a mini MiG-15 right here. I got the pieces for this guy off one of those airplanes that you can get at Walmart. I just didn't like the way it flew, it flew the other one, so I got everything out of it and this right here match perfectly my lipo battery so i just use lipo on it uh, i only have a magnetized rudder control and a two speed for the edf in there it flies decent but i just think it's very windy out there so whenever i'm flying as as much you know whenever you start building up speed building up speed you start just climbing up and it gets to the point whenever you just stall off the skies so I think I have too much elevator in it, so I'm going to reduce my elevator, elevator throw. And we, we get a video of that pretty soon. And my favorite airplane is the MiG-29. As you can see that right there is my 7 foot MiG-29. It's kind of a slow project, so I haven't really put much time into that one. I have a MiG-29 right here that I built a long, long time ago. Uh, it was like a, my like my X plane because I add airfoils to it. I got a full flying tail on it too. I have a rudder. I even have a thrust vector in engine right there. Um, I have four servos in here. You know, one servo for each aileron and one servo for the rudder. And I only have my friends one servo for the full flying tail and my engine. So it's a very nice servo. I just don't remember the name of it. So or I will tell you. Uh, but that servo right there is taking care of the whole tail and the motor. I have a UBEC controlling my, you know, making sure that I have enough current getting to all my electronics in there. And I have another MiG-29 over here. It's basically just uh, the fuselage. As you see it right here. I built this one two weeks after I finished that other one. Because I like the way it flew the other one. So in case I crash the other one, whenever I crash it, I'm just gonna pass all my electronics into this one. I put a lot more time into building this one, so that's why it looks more nicer right there. So whenever we crash that one, we get to that one. This one right here was, was my, my first attempt to build a full-scale airplane jet. This is the ME262. I put a lot of time into building this guy right here. Uh, I even add a bunch of detail into the cockpit. I don't know if you can see that in there, but I add details on it. Uh, I flew it a lot, I mean a lot of times, but then I decided just to get everything out of it because I like it a lot and I did not, did not want it to crash it. So I just get everything out of it and put it on the wall, you know, to remind me of my first <laughs> attempt to build a full scale airplane. I was flying that guy with two microjets. 
and it has only have a elevator and aileron control in it. Whenever I'm not building RC airplanes, I'm building you know some display model right here. Uh, this Thomas Morse right here. Uh, this one is one of those that you can get at Hobby Lobby too. Those kits, of course, the colors it doesn't come in them colors. It comes with tissue paper, where I just took the the you know the the plastic that you use to for your fuel models. I use that plastic, you know, the heating that you have to heat and all that stuff. I use that to cover all my wings and everything. And you see, I add some sort of design into it too, to make it look more sport. And you can see right there, I add a bunch of details into this guy right here. Uh, even on the carpet, I just don't think you can get the view of the carpet in there that good. But yeah, I add a bunch of details into that guy right there. It's a rubber band powered and it flies very nice on the rubber band. And I have one right there, a trailer plane. There. So uh, I'm also going to get the electronics for it to make it to make it fly remote control. That's why I haven't finished it. But anyhow, thank you for watching and keep close for the next upcoming videos so you can see how I build my airplanes. I'm gonna try to get a video of the construction, you know, of the F-18. I mean, of the F-15. So you can see how I use all my tools and everything I do to build my airplanes. Alright my friend, thank you for watching. See you next slide.